Hello everyone. Now, um, this all this month, the month um November, December, um, um, all these fifteen days leading up to the to the Force Awakens. I'm gonna be talking about Star Wars exclusively. So, so get ready. Because I'm going to start this series called The Force 101. And just to let you, just to show you how big of a Star Wars fan I am. Look at, at my two posters. And of course, those who follow me regularly have already seen it. Because I, I, I use it often in uh, as my background. But... I just wanted to point them out, just if you ha if you haven't seen them now. Um, of course, you can't start anything about about Star Wars without starting with the principal thing, which is the Force, the Force itself. Um, um right. Um, of course, um. Before I start that, this I remind you: this series, Force One Hundred One, is for newbies, for people who are barely starting to watch Star Wars, or um, or for uh, uh, people who have watched Star Wars in the past, but are st still have questions about. I need. Need some explaining, so let's get right to the. Fo How would I best describe the force? I would the way I would describe the force is to compare it to um use real life real life a um, belief system um because uh. Um, the force and 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 the um the Jedi, the Jedi's and Sith, really is an ancient religion, and so it's it's it is very reasonable to say that the those who created the force had um, had. Influence in real world or real love belief system. So, which is the closest thing I'm I could compare it to is um the closest thing I can could compare it to is um monism, particularly um religions like Buddhism. Now. Before I go over to the details, of what is monism? Monism is, belief, is the belief that the universe, the God, this entity we know as God, and the universe are one. Meaning, that there's no individual or separate entity. Uh, a God, but that God is every is everything. God is everyone, and um 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 Eastern religions such as Buddhism and others um um encourages to to come to the realizations that um. To the to that realization that we are all one, we are connected in the universe, and, and when we realize the light and state of mind, we we can be at peace with with ourselves and with the world around us. So, um, um, that's why. Um, 
Buddhist monks spend so much time medit on meditation to reach that level of consciousness where they they are no longer self-aware. I mean, aware of themselves, but they are are un are aware of the of the universe as a whole, and they see themselves in the universe, in the complete universe. So, um, that's how the force. Basically, that's how the force operates. The force is, uh, is. Uh, energy in all living things, and a power, a power that exists everywhere. Um, so, and um, and um, and only those who are are trained to to um to um to perceive the force are we able to to use it. Properly, so um, there are two ways to 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 tap into the power of the force. The first I would call the external the external um, um, you the ex external tapping of the force and this is based the external tapping of force is basically um uh, the the way that the people on the light side the jedis use it meaning they they go they go beyond themselves they and and uh, try to sense the force around them and 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 draw the power from that. So um, that's why that's why um, one of the codes of of the Jedi is to not to be attached to anything, because um, then you lose that perception and everything everything is connected and we. We do not own anything, so, so, the um, the closest thing I could uh, describe it to is, uh, um, um, sage mode. If you remember, uh, if those who watch Naruto, how 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 um how sage mode is, um, is uh, is reached is is looking is. Tap into the power of out nature's the force of nature outside of oneself and not using your own chakra but using the chakra around you so that that's a sage mode um so that um, that is the jedi way the other way is it's is more calm, just like a Buddhist monk, more, more at peace, more, um, in tune with the universe and all, all surroundings. So, but the second one is the internal tapping of of the force, and this is a more of um, the way the cis or the dark side um, operates, and that is to um, tap into the force that is inside. Because eventually, since every, the universe, the force is everywhere. Um, naturally, the um, the force is also inside of you, and 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 we have. Because we are spiritual beings, we have well, the force energy emanated from inside of us. So um, the way that that uh, the cis or the dark side taps into the force is to use 
um, your your own emotions or your own feelings to drive out that energy. That's why they, you they are so they're so um 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 obsessed with using your anger, your hate, your fear, every all the strong feelings to tap into the force. That that's how they try use that's how they draw out the power of the force from within. So just remember uh Jedi's tap into the force from external externally and sis um tap into the force internally. So just that that's how essentially it works. All right. I hope this was of help. God bless you. I mean, may the force be with you.